Here's the starters order seven chase qualify next. Slightly bigger field this time. Two miles, three furlongs, not to one twenty at the top. We've got fires at midnight, Martin Lee, the media agency, Paul Rhodes, Mutley, Stu Gray, Monumental Madness, Paul Rhodes, Lanelli Sultan, Thomas Rogers, Mandolin Nata, James Shade, Top Shelf, Craig Beckwith, Lilia the Valley, Obi Wan, Heathcote Monarch, Thomas Rogers, Baby Blue, Alex Cherry, and Ron Kino for Obi Wan. 11 then this time called in and away the rain coming down there as they make their way towards the first of 18 fences that they've got to negotiate in this one and all safely over the first already getting quite strong out to be fair and at the second mandolin Nart has gone straight through the top of that got away with it but lost the sizeable lead it's now down to just a length and does exactly the same thing over the second as well and he's now rather unsurprisingly overtaken by lily of the valley so lily of the valley then and mandolin nice who comes into this ditch and this time chops it really well so they're all safely over that one with mandolin nata two good jumps two bad jumps so far lily of the valley in second then heathcote monarch is third and baby blues after that one then comes Lanelli Sultane and then fires at midnight with Motley after that, then Ron Kino. And top shelf with the Paul Rhodes pair, the back to Media Agency and Monumental Madness. Continuing this long run to the fifth then, and Mandolin Nata seems to recover from those two mistakes and has now reasserted with a full length lead, gets over that one nicely. All over it okay, top shelf a little bit slow at the back. Short run to the sixth. Uh, this time it was Lily of the Valley that made a mistake, and Top Shelf that was the faller. Uh, top Shelf made a mistake the fence before, paid the price at the next one. Uh, and there's another one down there at the back now. Media Agency's gone, so two out the back have fallen as we get to number eight. And uh, again, one or two slow jumps. I think it was Fires at Midnight and Baby Blue that weren't all that quick as they take the water. Goodness knows whether we'll take the water again next time. We shouldn't. We probably will. And Mandolin Nata in the lead. From Heathcote Monarch second. Lily of the Valley third. Lenelli Suntan fourth. And then Fires at Midnight and Baby Blue and Ron Kino. With Monumental Madness and Motley the back two. And they're well strung out then. The final circuit now. Just a little more than a mile still to race. And Mandolin Nata. Leads by a length and a half. Heathcote Monarch is second. Lily of the Valley is third as they get to the tenth. So we have that one as well, although Baby Blue was slow again. Madeline Nata, Madeline Nata into the eleventh in the lead. Good jump by the horse in third. Lanelli Sultane. I've got those three in the green with a red cap, one, two, and three. And looking at it, I'm pretty sure. That the second and third have got lighter coloured sleeves, so I think that we'll have to figure out which one of that is, and then we might be able to tell them apart. But uh, in future races, they get over number 13, and they're all safely over that one with Mandolin Nata still in the lead. Lanelli Sultane second, Fires and Midnight's now moved through into third with Heathcote Monarch fourth, and then Monumental Madness and Baby Blue. Lily of the Valley's lost its place. Mutley's running on wrong. Kino is the back marker. Coming down towards the business end of the race. Mandolin Nata. He's four clear still of Monumental Madness. He's come right from the back through into second. I mean, really hard driven jockey. Certainly wants to get that one upside the leader as they get over the 14th. And there's another fall on there. It's Mutley that's gone this time. So no more dastardly doings for Mutley. That one's out of it. And it's Mandolin Nata in the lead. Fires at midnight. Now gone second. Mandolin Madness is third. In comes Lenelli Sultane. This is the third last, the final ditch. And it's Mandolin Nata in the lead. Fires at midnight. Monumental Madness. These three clear of Lenelli Sultane. Over the second last they go. And it's still Mandolin Nata in the lead. Fires at midnight. Now here comes Lenelli Sultane. And Lenelli Sultane's burst into the lead. Look at this wrong king on the outside, they are taking the water, and it's Lanelli Sultane from Ronquino. And at the post, it's Lanelli Sultane, was it Ronquino second, fires at midnight third, Monumental Madness was fourth. And 
there we go once again taking the water as the final fence which they shouldn't have done but I don't think it would have made much difference because Lanelli Sultane took it and definitely the lighter coloured sleeves there if you just look carefully at that graphic so maybe we'll be able to split them so Lanelli Sultane for Thomas Rogers so maybe Thomas Rogers has got lighter coloured sleeves than James Shea in those colours wrong Kino second for Obi Wan fires at midnight third for Martin the monumental madness Paul Rhodes was fourth and long time leader Mandolin Nata for James Shea was fifth. 